Welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV. I'm your host, Dame Lillian Walker, and I'm so happy and excited that you're here today to join me on this video. Today, we are going to talk about what is the most important gift that you can give, not only to yourself, but also to your children. And as some of you know, back in 2019, April to be exact, I was given a download to start writing this book on friendship. And make no mistakes, the most important relationship that you will ever have is the relationship that you have with yourself. If, if you do not have self-love, if you don't have an open heart, period, that you can, in, in, in a sense, bring the energy to your heart where you can actually feel the emotions in your heart space for yourself, then you're not going to be able to have an open heart space for anybody else. So you have to first embody it and accept it for yourself. And you have to begin to have starting a great relationship with yourself. You have to become your own best friend. And as you do that, if you have kids, then that is something that by modeling, by speaking it, they're going to see it. They're going to hear it and they're going to see it modeled and then they're going to do it too. And that is going to set them up for success. So I'm sure some of you are going, it's like, yeah, this really resonates with me. I don't know how to do this. Where do I even start? Well, if you look at the word meditation, don't run, <laughs> but if you look at meditation and you look at the original meaning of the word meditation, it actually means to know thyself. So that's all meditation is. Meditation isn't just oming out, you know, on some Himalayan cave or mountaintop. It's you being quiet, getting yourself in a relaxed state. This is part of the key to not just owning, owning, owning yourself in your entirety to who you truly are, but also to learning who is the true loving you and what is the societal programming, whatever your past has programmed you to think that you are, whatever labels it has imposed upon you that you have embraced and accepted, whatever voodoo curses that were spoken to you upon you by teachers, parents, neighbors, friends, whatever, and who the true you is. And as you learn to silence that voice, because you think that voice is you, but it's not. The true you would never talk to you the way that voice does. That voice is gonna make you think that you're not enough, that you have to hurry, that you fall short every time, that you're a victim of bad circumstances, that why does bad things happen to me? All this negative stuff that really doesn't feel good, that is the voice of that programming, which is the personality that is a false personality, but you identify it thinking that those thoughts are you and it's not you. Uh, if you look at my YouTube videos, I actually have a video where I talk about how do you distinguish your brain versus your ego as opposed to the true you, your conscious awareness that has free will. That you can now, as a conscious awareness, it is a bright, brilliant light. You can focus it like a laser beam and you can start to bring into your 3D reality through using applied physics, quantum physics to be exact. You can start to morph your reality into the wanted as opposed to the unwanted. And even in the face of things that are unwanted, you can mold that into the wanted. But you have to first step, first things first. You have to be willing to take the step of wanting to love yourself and saying, okay, I don't know, I'm gonna do this. I don't know how to walk with an open heart. I don't know how to live with an open heart. I don't know how to love myself. I'm not even sure that I know what love is. And trust me, friends and gems, I went from thinking I knew that what love was and when I got divorced, I started questioning everything again. It's not the first time in my life that I started questioning again, but I started thinking, okay, I know what a mother, a mother um, to, to their children type of love is. No question about that kind of love. The love between you know my parents loving me, no question about that. Love between friends, no question about that. But when, when it came to romantic love, I was thinking maybe that doesn't really exist. Maybe that's just a fairy tale. Maybe it's all nonsense. Maybe it's all poo-poo. And so I really did a study and dove in deep, really spent a lot of time in quietness and stillness, uh, going deeper into meditation and getting to know myself better. But I also made a decision at the same time that I was examining and learning what love really 
is and what love really isn't. And learning, at the same time that I was doing that, I also had decided I'm drawing a line in the sand. And I want to, I'm not sure how to do this, but I know that I want to walk with an open heart. And I want to live with an open heart. And I want to have my heart wide open. And I don't want to be jaded and cynical or negative because of any kind of life circumstance um, ever. I don't want to be one of those type of people. So I'm not going to own that. Even, even though most people would do that because of some negative life circumstance, listen, everybody has a negative life circumstance. You can't go through this earth plane <laughs> and get off scot-free without having, you know, a negative life circumstance, without having bad stuff happening to you. Here on earth, this is a plane of polarity. You have positive, negative, day, night, good, bad, up, down. Fat, skinny, tall, short, I'm short. Uh, it goes on and on and on. This is the plane of existence where we experience duality, a polarity. So you'll never find a place in life where you don't have that until you shake off this meat suit and your soul is free from the meat suit. So just accept that that is here. That doesn't mean that you can't live in peace, that you can't live a life filled with joy, with enthusiasm, with exuberance, with cool things happening. And it does mean that when things don't go your way, you're like, oh man, okay, pause button. Instead of my getting upset, instead of my getting worried, instead of me fretting, getting nervous, anxious, freaked out, um, say, you know, tell everybody, oh, this is the most terrible thing that's ever happened to me. This is horrific. This is whatever kind of superlative, which is all junk. It's not true. Because horrific is being in a, I don't even want to go there. We all know what horrific, terrible, all those things are. The truth is, it's an unwanted circumstance. Let's call it what it is. Something that you don't want that's not going your way. Great. There is a prescription that can be provided to you that you can embrace that if you use it every single time, it will help you mold that into a better outcome that is more to your liking. But guess what? In order to do it, you have to know yourself. You have to be your own best friend. You need to know the difference between your conscious awareness and the use of that conscious awareness, that free will, and the difference between your brain and your ego, and then where your body fits in this whole equation. It sounds complicated, it's actually not. If you follow, if you just follow, it's an important point, you see? You even hear, heard the sonic boom? That's telling you, pay attention. If you go and start watching the videos that I have on Love and Money Secrets TV, start with Becoming Supernatural. Do that study with me. Buy your own book, Kindle form and paperback. Decide that you are going to master this information. You don't need to memorize it. You just need to become familiar with it and receive the idea that I'm gonna be my best friend. I am gonna become supernatural. I'm gonna learn how to know myself so I can embrace unconditional love, so I can feel and know and be worthy, be enough, be abundant, be prosperous. That leaves nothing out. Infinity is made available to you when you do that. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying, because some people that are looking at these videos are going, I want to manifest a specific person. Bad idea. You're a control freak if you're trying to manifest a specific person. That's not the best use of, of this prescription, this formula, as Dr. Joe call, calls it. So I'm going to leave it right there. We'll elaborate into that further. But join me in watching Becoming Supernatural. And when you're done with that book, then start breaking the habit of being yourself. Now, you can choose to do the second book first. I started with Becoming Supernatural. That's why I lead you to that one first. But the greatest gift you can give yourself, you have to give it to yourself before you give it to your kids, if you have kids. Give it to yourself first. Be your own best friend. Learn to love yourself unconditionally. Learn what that looks like. Find out what my unconditional love with unconditional communication, unconditional truth is all about. I have a video on that too. I'll link it to the end of this video. So that's it. We're going to keep it short and sweet today. I hope you like this video. If this is something that you think would be a benefit to somebody that you know, go ahead, share it. Like it, share it, subscribe. Hit that notification bubble so... Bubble? 
bell so that the next time a next video is premiering, you'll be notified of it right away. Thank you, my friends and gems. Please do comment below. This is an open classroom, so I respond to all the comments. So please do ask me whatever it is that you would like. And ciao for now.